welcome back in this session we'll discuss the c program structure and c program execution process this is c program structure it involves the documentation section where we write comments for documentation purpose the link section involves inclusion of standard libraries and hash defined directories the global declaration section involve definition of global variables and function declarations my dear friends function declarations are the prototypes for the function it tells the compiler that somewhere in the file you can find the definition of the function you can consider this function declarations as trailers for the movies whereas the definition of the function is original movie then we have the main function section which may involve two parts one is declaration part the other one is executable part because it is being a very basic program it does not have any doc, uh, declaration part it has only simple executable part then we have the sub program section which involves the definition of the functions which are declared in the global declaration section so you can see the definition of the function which is defined in the global declaration my dear friends you can write declaration and definitions together but remember before the function call either the declaration or the definition of the function must be present when you run this particular code the first print of statement will print hello dear students then backslash and in the next line so this macro get expanded that is max get welcomes you is printed so that is the output of this simple program and this is the simple c program structure my dear friends now let us see the c program execution process see normally we write our source code in some ide or some online compiler and when you run you get the output but we try to understand the internal process how actually the program pre processed compiled converted to assembly code then converted to machine code then converted to executable code and finally you are going to get the output so the complete c program default execution process we try to understand in this session so first i have written my source code in this first.c file so this is my source code and if you observe the source code length is 10 that is i written this co source code in 10 lines now during the pre processor stage compiler will call the pre processor and this pre processor will expand the source code so your original file is first.c the pre processor will convert this file into first.i and it is an expand it contains expanded source code see what pre processor actually do is it expands macros includes header files removes the comments and if any conditional compilations are there it will perform that because of that the source code get expanded and if you want to see the contents of this first.i towards the end i'll tell you what Uh, commands you have to write in the command prompt and if you see the number of lines of this first dot i file you can find around 451 lines and here you see it expands the macros okay and it includes the header file in your file because of that the source code get expanded this is about the pre processing stage the next stage is compilation stage in the compilation stage the compiler scans the entire expanded source code and it converts the source that expanded source code into assembly code so you get first dot s file my dear friends you can see the content of this first dot s file my dear friends that is the assembly code for your c code then in the next stage that is in the assembler stage the assembler will convert the assembly code into object code 
my dear friends object code consists of binary instructions which are understandable by computer's processor they are not understandable by us they are machine understandable code we call it as machine code if you want to read it you can try that this is the content of fast.co then the next stage we are having is the linker stage see our program contains single file but when you are uh, doing a large application it may involve multiple files and object code for each file is created and those object files are linked with their libraries corresponding libraries whatever they call so they have to link the object code with those libraries and all these objects course uh, codes are to be linked together to form or to create the final executable code so the linker will create the final executable code by linking all the objects code together with their corresponding libraries so then you are going to get this executable code then finally loader okay the executable code that is dot exe file is loaded in cpu and it is executable by loader programs generally the operating system or the runtime environment loads the program allocate the required memory and it will uh, transfer the control to the first point of the program that is main function and the program executed sequentially my dear friends so this is how the c program is executed but in our ids or in our online compiler we just write program and when you run you will see the output directly but internally this much process is happening that you need to understand and if you want to get this dot uh, uh, i file dot s file and other files in the command prompt you have to use the following commands my dear friends if you use the first command it will create the dot i file as dot i file the second command will create a dot s file whereas the third command will give you the dot o file and this fellow will give you the exe file and if you want to run see i am doing it for windows okay there may be slight variation for linux environment but uh, for gcc compiler generally for windows or linux uh, the commands will be similar only so by writing dot slash first you can get the output of the program my dear friends that is hello dear students welcome to max so this is about c program structure and c program execution process my dear friends thank you